Cambodia is achieving dramatic economic growth. In the past few years, the GDP rate has remained steady at 7%. Now, the power of women is in focus as a further driver of economic growth. Several times a month, a group of Cambodian business people meet at this hotel. The meetings began three years ago as a forum for exchanging ideas and networking. Every year, more and more women participate. They now account for 30% of the attendees. Female entrepreneurs are active in numerous fields. Ms. Kong Sophia has also recently started a business. She has an office on the seventh floor of this building. In 2013, she set up a company that sells financial products and foreign exchange services to individual clients. Employing nine staff members, Ms. Sophia helps clients plan their financial futures. She offers investments in oil, gold, and foreign currencies. The company receives a commission of 10% on all client profits. Most of her clients are middle or lower income earners. Today, she is consulting with two university students. For first time clients, Ms. Sophia starts by explaining how the system works. In Cambodia, there are around 10 other personal finance companies, but most of them target the wealthy. To set her business apart, Ms. Sophia wanted to focus on young people and the rapidly growing middle income bracket. The major difference is the cost of setting up a new account. Some major finance companies charge an initial fee of $10,000 but her company requires just $300 up front. Training personnel and securing an adequate cash flow make running a company difficult and risky. What motivated Ms. Sophia to start her own business? Oh, <laughs> ពេលដែលរៀនលើសីជីសីហ្នឹងចាប់ផ្ដើមធ្វើឲ្យខ្ញុំមានកំណត់ចង់ធ្វើបីសនេះហ៎គាត់មកបង្ហាញពីបទព
Technical Cooperation Program. The center also offers training courses to help promote the development of the market economy in Cambodia. Although it offers many courses, including Japanese language, its main focus is on the entrepreneurship course. It's designed for those who want to set up their own businesses and attracts the most attendees. The lecturers are all successful business people themselves. When the course started, only 10 percent of the students were women. But that ratio has now risen to 30 percent. Many have carried on to become entrepreneurs. ហើយប៉ុន្តែគាត់គឺជាអ្នកដែលចង់បង្កើតអាជីវកម្មនឹងនៅថ្ងៃបន្ទាប់ពីគាត់ធ្វើការចប់ទីគាត់ចង់ហ
Her proposal was favorably received, winning her a prize of $2,000. She used that money to establish her finance company. In order to avoid cash flow problems, she sought investment from acquaintances, establishing a joint management structure. It's two years since Ms. Sophia launched this company, but she's still not running at a profit. Any money earned goes to paying employees, and she has yet to draw a salary. Every day, she is busy with sales, hoping to win over new clients. The company only has 50 clients, nearly all of whom are women. Ms. Sophia is concerned that few men are opening accounts. Older men in Cambodia are quite conservative, and many are reluctant to deal with a female business owner. In comparison to other Southeast Asian countries, Cambodia has been slow to embrace the participation of women in society. Traditionally, they have only been able to find low-income positions in places such as markets and cafeterias. Founded in 1996, the Ministry of Women's Affairs has been a vital element in improving the status of women in society. The policy targets reform in five areas, including education and employment. Attendance at school is now compulsory until junior high. Governmental bodies are encouraged to take the lead in hiring female staff. The fortunes of female entrepreneurs in Cambodia are mixed, but a flexible approach and a strong will seem to be the keys to success. At just 27, Ms. Kam Kimura lectures at the Japan Center as a successful businesswoman.
She speaks many languages, including English and Japanese. Ms. Kemura runs two beauty salons in central Phnom Penh. She provides comprehensive beautician services, including nail art and eyelash extensions. Beauty salons are more and more popular in Cambodia, and her business enjoys a steady stream of customers. เอ่อจําลองที่มวยคือខ្ញុំចាស់ច្រើនព្រោះមានរឿងជាច្រើនដែលត្រូវគិតមានរឿងជាច្រើនដែលត្រូវរៀនមានរឿងជាច្រើន
This is her three-year-old nephew. Her older sister's family also lives here. Her parents are both retired, and they strongly opposed their daughter's plans to start a business. ຫຼາຍມັນຈົກໃຈຫຼາຍມັນບານຣີຈຳເລີນໃຕ້ <laughs> ดูบรองคลาดเอ่อเจ๊งเตยเจ๊งเตยเปนามอบเตียจังเวียเกิดเพื่อบาปไอ้ดังจังខ្ញុំ <laughs> 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 Ms. Kamura is concerned about the worry she is causing her parents. After setting up a business against her parents' wishes, she is determined to succeed. <laughs> Even though she is steadily generating greater sales, she still experiences anxiety. One issue she faces is the training and retention of talented staff. With so many rival companies, competition in the future will be fierce. beauty school, key point, key place, person ແລະກະນາກໍຊິມານេເຈີໃຫ້ຫນຶ່ງຂ້ອຍໃຫ້ບຸກລົບໃສໃສຍັງຊິອະປະຕິສະເປີເຊນເຕຈໃຫ້